Hey guys, I'm just Jersh and welcome back to another Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus Daily. Let's see if the roller coaster continues today. Look, I'm, I'm a big fan of patterns. I like doing uh, matching and puzzle and other sorts of games like that when I was a kid. We've got an unfortunate pattern going today. Horrible, die and get a horrible score, great score. Horrible score, great score. That means today should theoretically be yet another horrible score. May depend on the character. No, 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 Lazarus is my boy. We ain't getting a horrible score with Lazarus. That, that, that famous last words, okay. Dude, Yeti, killing it. Yeti killing it this week, 566. He said the other day he had like a, a 900 and he was like, that's one of my best scores of all time. How about him this week? 813, 719, 566. You love to see it. He's, he's having a great week. And because he's so consistent, may finish above me, who's gotten the lows of 4,800 and the highs of up in the 90s. Um, him and Crotus have both done today's daily. Crotus with a nice score of 10,000. Oh, it only goes to Mom's Shoe. I was wondering with a score of 14,907, how you end up in the 500s. Okay, so we're looking for Awa's room. We're looking for Sacrifice room. We're looking for Shovel. We've got several um, avenues for success potential today. Uh, the question is, which one are we going to take? Uh, I will take the virus right off the bat. Because I consider it to be rather good, personally. That's just me. We'll take this black heart. It will hopefully survive all the way to the next floor. So that we can get some, uh, some good use out of it. Some good juice out of it. Some good au jus. What is Aju? Isn't it like a... I know it comes with one of those uh, that I believe... Well, we did not save the black heart to the next floor. <laughs> what is this cursed room? What is... This room stinks, dude. I don't... I've never seen it before, but I know I hate it. Um, Aju comes with, I believe, what is known as a French dip sandwich. It's like a, a style of... I think it's roast beef, essentially. It's like a roast beef sandwich, but it comes with this dippable cup of something called au jus that I think is just like meat sweat or something like that. It's just a, it's a cup of meaty, fatty meat juice, which sounds very gross when I say it aloud, but I think it's delicious. I can't remember. That was one of the, um, there were a couple days when you got to school back in like, elementary school, middle school, high school. There were a couple of, of things that if you saw on the menu, you knew it was gonna be a pretty pogged day. Rockin' Burgers, number one. Spicy Chicken Sandwich, number two. Just seeding my Popeye's fascination to this day. Mm, I'm tempted, you know what? Let's go in the shop just for the exploration bonus. Even though we don't really want to. Not a great use of a key, but look at that score boost. Uh, I would love there's options, but that seems unlikely to me. So I don't think it's going to happen. That's okay. Um, macho nachos. I actually wasn't a big fan of macho nachos. Most people were. By the time you got them, the chips were like completely sogged out because they'd just been sitting there soaking in... I mean, we'll call it beef, but it's probably closer to dog food. They'd just been sitting there soaking in in beef juice and nacho cheese for like four hours. Instead of, at least at mine, they didn't, they didn't scoop them, they didn't scoop them moment of for you, which I think was where the catastrophe started. Um, what are the days? In my high school, we had, um, we had this, <laughs> is the start of my political career, which does not exist, you may be noticing. My freshman year of high school, we had uh, some amazing lunches. Well, they had a couple different options. They had like a cheap lunch that was like two bucks, which was your normal like sandwich drink. Thank you for the Spirit Heart BT dubs. All right, next floor. You had sandwich drink. Um, sam you had entree, which was typically like a sandwich, like a burger or, or a chicken sandwich or something like that. Or, and a side, which could be like fries or fruit or vegetables or who's not picking fries, to be honest with you. 
Anyway, they had the cheap lunch and then they had the fancy lunch. The fancy lunch was like $4. The cheap lunch was like $2. The fancy lunch, they had a deep fryer. The deep fryer made some, is like gourmet chicken sandwich, gourmet chicken tenders. The French fries, oh, oh my God, Joker, uh, to die for, so good. Uh, I usually got the cheap lunch because we didn't have a ton of money, but once a week I would splurge and I would get the fancy lunch. Well, most people just got the fancy lunch because, uh, I mean, it's tasty food, so why wouldn't you? $4 per meal is crazy. You could get like an entire Domino's pizza order to yourself for dinner for the same price. You don't think about that when you're in school, but now that I'm out of school and I'm thinking about $4 for a lunch, my goodness. Um, anyway, you could literally get like a Chinese, con it's insane. Um, anyway, after my first year, um, after my freshman year, that summer, I think it was, was the summer that Michelle Obama, when Barack Obama was president at the time, uh, did her school lunch initiative to try to increase the, the healthiness of school lunches, which like, you know, in hindsight is probably good. Like you probably want people to be healthy, I would think. Stem cell. You keep showing up and I don't know what you do. Um, I'll take you. <laughs> I'll also peep the shop. Blank card. Blank card. Blank card's interesting. Um, if we can get enough money to make it happen, it's quite interesting. Uh, will we get enough money to make it happen? I don't know. Monster, I still have a small amount of PTSD from what you did to me the other day. So just know that I'm not a big fan of you. Okay. Uh, we'll keep the box on the ground for now. <sighs> This is tough because I was really hoping to trade away all my HP. It's looking like that's not gonna happen for a little bit. Puberty. One more puberty and we get, um, dang. Okay, so we have a decision to make. Do we wanna die and come back as Lazarus on this floor? <sighs> Do we wanna die and come back as Lazarus on this floor, which would allow us access to that boss trap room? Or, yeah, with those two spirit hearts, I now think I do. Okay, this is this might seem silly because we're losing a lot of HP, but that's okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this to get into this boss trap room. I'm gonna hope to get a bunch of money out of this. We did not get a bunch of money out of this. Now make sure you don't die in here is, is well, actually, you can. You, you can die. You can die. In fact, you should die. So try to maybe get a little aggressive, yeah. We actually absolutely want to die in here. Probably should have let the enemy murder me, because now I'm going to have to waste a bomb to do it. I think. Just do it. Just, It's not a great use of a bomb, but... Okay, bring me back. We take the damage bonus. We got no money out of that, which is a darn shame, which means I don't think blank card's gonna happen, unfortunately. Seven minutes through the first two floors. We gotta speed things up. All right. Um, yeah, I don't think blank card's happening, um, which is a shame. Unless this guy gives us like a, a, a lot of money. Okay. Um, not great. I would have liked to have blank card because if I got blank card, then I would have taken no. Um, for no more spacebar items. And blank card AWAS, you know, might have propelled us to the end. That's okay, we didn't get it. No problemo. I mean, little problemo. Sli uh, slightly severe problemo, I would say. Anyway, Michelle Obama had her school lunch initiative to attempt to increase uh, healthiness among schools, which is good. But not to a bunch of children at the time, <laughs> because to a bunch of children at the time, it meant removing the deep fryers from school and the, the delicious lunch option was removed. Only the cheap lunch option remained and people were mad. People wanted their chicken tendies. 
me being one of them, I did enjoy my chicken tendies. So, us being the political geniuses that we were, organized a silent protest amongst the school. I was one of the leading organizers of said protest. The protest was bring, oh, by the way, they didn't just remove the friars. They, they went a little crazy in my personal opinion. They removed, uh, so they removed condiments as well, except for salt and pepper. You could get salt and pepper, but like, we used to have this huge condiment station of like, barbecue sauce, ketchup, ranch, honey mustard for all of your dipping needs. They removed that as well because, I mean, yeah, a lot of the dipping sauce is very sugary. But who's eating plain chicken nuggets, dude? What the heck? Disgusting. Um, oh. This is tough. Um, Cricket's body's good. It's a tears up. It's a tears up, which is instantly good for us. And it's a pretty good DPS item, but who knows what could, you know what, I'm, uh, I'll think about it. <laughs> Let me see my shop first, because we have 16 cents, so maybe I want to buy something at the shop. We have 16 cents, maybe I want to buy something at the shop. Narrator, he did not want to buy something at the shop. I'm going to go ahead and just pop the sun card here so I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to get the boss fight done first. See if we can get ourselves a deal with the devil. I'd like to go back and hit that curse room as well. Going back and hitting the curse room is something that's appealing to me. Anyway, they took away our freaking condiments, dude. Now you're eating not deep fried french fries, but baked french fries. And not only are they baked, but you also, so they're baked and they're kind of floppy and soggy. But you also can't dip them in ketchup. You're forced to eat these gross, soggy, nasty fries. Anyway, people were not happy. So we organized a, not a coup, but a, um, a, a silent protest of sorts. Everyone was going to, nah, okay, now we have a tears up. So now suddenly Cricket's body is less appealing. I might go for the rerolls, just, just to try to go ham. Um, Ah! Good. Oh, gosh. Didn't quite fit that where I needed to fit it. Okay. Not a great room for us. That's okay. I'm gonna quickly peep curse room, and then I think we're gonna... I don't know how I want to handle this Cricket's Body situation. I think Cricket's Body is good. As, like, a general rule of thumb. But what if there's something amazing? What if by taking it, we're missing out on something amazing, you know? It's possible. It's possible, but unfortunately, I don't know if I have the time to to dilly-dally with it. Uh, uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I think I'm going to reroll. I think. Oh, I could have blown that guy up and maybe gotten a deal with the devil. Oh, I hope that is not the difference between getting an okay score and an amazing score. All right. That's a great item. It's a great item. It's just, it's a fantastic item. It's so good. <laughs> and I wish we had another spacebar item that I could have left behind, but the added speed from mapping, I think this has a chance to pop an Awaz rune, which can be pretty sick, bruh. It has the added chance to pop an Awaz rune. This gives us like little extra charges every now and again, so probably worth it. More bombs is always nice. Take me to my shop. That is not very nice. That is not very nice. I also realize we have a full suite of orbitals, which means uh, bullets probably not doing too much damage to me, which I'm... He spawned him right on me, which I'm appreciative of. Got an Empress card. That is nice. The mapping, also wonderful. Um, I think I'd like to visit Curse Room first. We're a little low on HP. So perhaps I should be a little bit more nervous. We also have a sacrifice room. It's too early. I'd like to, you know what I'd love to do? What I'd love to do 
is make it to boss, uh, get a teleportation card from Crystal Ball. This item has hurt us in the past, but it does give a tears up. We could be at a five tier stat right now. I understand that by the way. If I had instead taken, uh, I, I think Crystal Ball is the right place though. I, th I think Crystal Ball is the right play. It's gonna keep us alive from a Spirit Heart perspective. It could maybe give us an Awaz rune that could literally win the entire run for us. I think it's the right move. Anyway, we organize a silent protest. We're only gonna bring our lunch, we said, until they bring back the deep, bring back the deep fryer, bring back the deep. We were, we were very committed. We were very committed to this uh, for about two days. <laughs> Then everyone else gave up. Ah, they were like, you know what? I actually kind of hate packing my own lunch, so I'm not doing this. Uh, everyone else gave up. I, not to, not trying to be a braggadocious boy. I continued doing it and was going to continue doing it. I was never going to give up. I wanted, even though I only got the fancy lunches once a week, I was like, this is an outrage. Thank you for the deal with the devil. I do appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, like, the orbitals on this run are kind of ridiculous, and I'm, a, I'm, I'm very appreciative of them. Um, it should make getting hit by bullets rather difficult, and, uh, well, we're going to be able to run into things and do a lot of damage, which I like. Okay, exploring the rest of this floor, not a great idea. Do we even want to visit Arcade? No, but I do want to visit... Just because you have all these orbitals doesn't mean you're invincible. Remember that. I do want to visit Curse Room. And uh, even though I was a little nervous, as I said before, about our survivability, it's a great item. It's a great item that I will be taking. Butter. We don't want butter. Um, I don't think I care about those rooms over to the right. I think I care about making boss rush more. So I'm going to, because we know Yet he got a score of about 15,000, which I think would not include boss rush, and he got in the 500. So if we can just make it to boss rush, we can probably guarantee ourselves a sweet uh, top 250 finish. So I think that's what we should do. Anyway, everyone else gave up because probably their parents were like, dude, we're not making you sandwiches. Make your own peanut butter and jelly. And everyone was like, yeah, but I don't really want to make my own peanut butter and jelly is the thing. So everyone gave up. Which was very sad for me personally. I thought we were, you know, enacting social change. Turns out we were not. Um, but that's okay. I kept bringing my lunch for the basically the rest of the school year. <laughs> Only for that year, though. The years after that, don't get me wrong. I went back to the deliciousness. That is not... I thought you spawned items on this floor. You tricked me. Don't worry. Years after that, I absolutely went back to just purchasing food because, well, it's easier. And uh, you may have noticed this in your, for those who know me even at an above average level, I'm rather lazy. I don't say that in a positive way. I think it's a, it's one of the worst things about me. I wish it wasn't the case. Darn shame, darn shame. Uh, why do you explore that one particular room? What can that one room over there really seek to bring to your run at this point? Answer, probably nothing. I say that, and of course, that's going to be the room uh, when I watch NSL's video that Godhead was in for whatever reason, but on the surface, it doesn't seem to benefit us much at this point, so I'll pass on it. Uh, we would like to get out of this floor in like the next minute or so. I don't see any tinted rocks. Box of spiders is decent, but um, I like crystal bowl. We do have another sacrifice room on this floor. It's probably the right play. It's probably the right play. Unless... Whoa! Not what I was expecting in this room. The problem is we don't have a ton of HP. Uh, which makes it less of the right play. Because it's a lot harder to actually make it work. We don't have a lot of HP, and that is something that I would describe us as not having. Um, I'd like to get out of this floor in the next 30 seconds or so, so let's quickly peep in here. Let's 
take this. You gotta take BFF. You're literally gonna shred everything. You gotta take sack of sack head. None of those are really what I'm looking for. I didn't even know Razor Blade could spawn in the shop. What the heck, dude? Diplopia Mama Mega? Does that do anything for us? Does that do anything for us? It guarantees we can get the boss rush, but I think we'll get to boss rush anyway. It guarantees we get to boss rush, but I, uh, this is a great item. Just kidding. <laughs> I thought it was Booger Tears. It's not. Um, we might not make it to boss rush, but I, I would describe that as being pretty unlikely considering we'll have mapping on the next floor and can kind of just, um, Thanks for pushing him into me, appreciate it. Ability to fly would be pretty sick, but um, I, I don't think that's what we want. Okay. Okay. Double key room. Interessante. Less interessante. There's some spirit hearts for us. Uh, do I want to do this little mini boss over here? It's extra rooms, which is extra time, but I think I'm okay with it. I think I'm okay with it just very quickly. I am suddenly quite less okay with it. I know I'm taking a lot of dumb damage. By the way, may maybe Yeti did do, I'm looking at the score. Maybe Yeti did do boss rush? Bruh. The amount of dumb damage is, is ridiculous and a fame not really paying out for me too much at this point, which is upsetting. Okay, gotta speed things up just a tiny bit. Just, just, just a tiny bit. We can make it if we... Please stop. Okay. Um, it's going to be close. We're going to shred mom, so don't worry about that too much. I was really hoping to have a teleportation card. No... Um, Hmm. We could maybe get a teleportation card with crystal ball. We can maybe get, but there's no sacrifice room. So I think we're done, uh, unfortunately. So I don't like you. The okay. Got about a minute to win it. Don't be afraid to sprint through the rooms if you really need to. And in fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do here. Just for, for time's sake, got, still got about a minute. This room also kind of sucks, so you know what? I think I'm just going to place a bomb here and say see you later. This room's easy peasy. This room is also easy while being simultaneously peasy. Please die. Thank you. 92.5% chance of a deal with the devil. As I said, we should shred mom. We'll take this. We'll go in here. It's dark matter, which I, I don't think is going to do much for... I mean, like, why? I don't think it does much for us. Uh, let's head in here. We got a card. The card is the sun. These also don't really do anything for me, but we want to do... We want to do boss rush. Okay, so I think at this point... It's champion boss rush. That kind of stinks. I think at this point, our only hope, please, please, I want to die, bloat and peep, bloat and peep, bloat and peep, okay, um, at this point, I mean, we'll live because, well, we have crystal ball and crystal ball is going to be constantly giving us delicious charges. Our only hope is that when Crystal Ball pays out, which I don't even know if it can pay out with runes, I'm starting to think the answer to that question is no. Our only hope might literally be an AWAS rune, because there's no sacrifice room on this floor. Even if we get the ability to tele... Even if we get the ability to teleport out of here. Get out. Even if we get the ability to teleport out of here, that doesn't do a whole lot for me. 
ability to teleport out of here doesn't do a whole lot for me, which is a little bit of a shame. I'll spend my money on this thing because I think it could also theoretically pay out with an Awaz rune. Ah, it can also block my entire vision, so maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll try those shenanigans a little later. Thank you, my my army of orbitals, for blocking literally every potential bullet that could ever touch me. Thank you, BFF Sack Dagger, as well, for being just so darn strong. <laughs> like, just very strong. I'm out of bombs! Oh, God. Gotta get in there with the knife. Stab him. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're taking very dumb damage. Which is most certainly hurting us in the long run. I think there's almost no doubt about it. It's very much hurting us. Dude, there's no champion. Uh... Please help. Please help. I'm taking silly damage in an attempt to do boss rush faster. Which is not the right play. Also, by the way, uh, Sacrifice Room was without a doubt the right play here. I'm sad that I chose not to do the Sacrifice Room. We would be on the Dark Room right now freaking partying, dude. Hangman? Sure, let me fly. Should reduce some potential creep damage we might have done to us, so... Li likely worth... This man is spawning just an unbelievable amount of rude boys. Need them to go away. Please stop, thank you. Whoa. Those guys were on top of each other. Joker? Two of clubs, sure. We'll take the extra bombs. I must say, I don't think this was handled very aptly, this this entire run. I think we'll get like a nice top uh, 250, like I said. I think NSL is going to take home the gold on this one, though. That boy likes his, uh, he likes his sacrifice rooms. I, I think you'll see NSL do a sacrifice room on this particular one. And we are just not very strong. <laughs> Maybe Yidus did boss rush as well? Because boss rush is only like 4,000 extra points, right? It's going to put us like right there with Yidus. Bruh, we messed up. What the heck is Barf Penny? We would be doing better if I stopped taking... I'm going to break my desk into small, little, itty, bitty pieces. Yeah, uh, we got nothing out of this, unfortunately. That's the end of the run. Yeah, we got no way to go down. Rip. Rip Aruski. Oh, we finished at 18. We got 137. It's probably going to end up closer in the 200s, I would think. Clearly, Dark Room was the better play from a points perspective. I think Dark Room takes you up to 20,000 pretty instantaneously. So, um, I don't know if we could have made the HP work on the Dark Room floor or on, on, on Caves, sorry, Depths 1, where the Sacrifice Room actually showed up. NSL's doing his run right now, so I guess we'll find out very shortly. Still, though, Two back-to-back -back good performances, that's a good. Helping bring up the average of the week a little bit, which is being currently tanked <laughs> by two very bad scores. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please consider showing some support down below, liking, commenting, subscribing. Always good to have a nice quick sub 30-minute daily every now and again. Uh, if you enjoyed, please share with your grandmother as always. With that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.